What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Red Spectra. Now the Red Spectra was a weapon which had a lot of hype surrounding it. Prior to the Taken King's release, we saw a few glimpses of this weapon via Taken King gameplay trailers. A lot of people, including me, thought this could have been some sort of upgraded Red Death or Monte Carlo just because of the bayonet. It was all speculation at the time though, so forgive us. Now this weapon is an actual weapon of its own and it's a weapon I've wanted to get my hands on since seeing images of it quite a while back. It finally dropped for me the other day and damn I got pretty excited, I really did. Now this weapon as far as I know is a crucible drop only weapon but I have had people tell me they've had it drop from other places but obviously providing no proof at all. So if you want this thing go grind PvP. I had mine drop after playing Rift and having a not so good game. The lag was terrible and it led to me running around with a shotgun which is what I do when I enter laggy lobbies. So if you guys want to hire your chances of getting this drop go play Crucible, be crap like me and hopefully it will pay off. Now the Red Spectra dropped with not so great perks but to be honest I was just thankful to see that hand aid stuck because as you can see it's stuck stability is pretty damn bad. And this being a weapon with a higher rate of fire, it needs a stability perk. Mine also drops with Hot Swap and Icarus. Neither perk makes this weapon more potent. The three sights mine has are Red the ORS, Sure Shot IS and Range Lens RLS3. Me personally, I prefer using the less clunky Sure Shot IS as it's these bare iron sights which work best for me. Now I maxed out this thing straight away as I am actually looking for a go to PvP auto rifle. In this Red Spectra I thought I found it especially after going off what other people had said. So I used this weapon in PvP and I instantly knew this weapon was going to be subpar to other auto rifles I'd used. It has a high rate of fire so keeping it under control to nail that target gets rather hard after around 40 feet. Which is fine I suppose because after about 40 feet you may as well spit on your enemy to do damage as this thing has no range at all. Not gonna lie though this thing packs a pretty punch at close quarters. So we'll take a look at its PvP stats. So this weapon shoots 10 bullets per second so that's 600 rounds per minute. It will empty its entire clip in roughly around 3.33 seconds. This weapon's reload and ready time as standard is around 2.10 seconds. Now onto its PvP damage, this thing does 20 to the head and 16 to the body, but its damage fall off is pretty bad. This thing will do a maximum of 200 damage per second if all shots are landed are crits, but in my opinion that would be pretty hard to do. To the body per second you'll do 160 damage. Maximum clip damage is around 720. Now the stability of this weapon could be improved depending on what mod you have dropped. Without any stability perks though, and if you let rip, this thing is all over the damn place. Even with hand laid stock it ain't much better, but it can be handled to a degree. But like I said, it does need more stability. If you have had this weapon drop, what mods did you get? Let me know down below in that comment section. Overall, I am slightly let down by this weapon. I expected much more. But that's not to say it ain't a good weapon. It just ain't as good as what I think it should be. The best thing about this weapon, in my opinion, is probably its subtitle. Rumour has it that Red Death prototypes are circulating in the Crucible once again. So this thing is a Red Death prototype, but it ain't nowhere near as good. Guys, that is my opinion on the Red Spectra and how you obtain it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!